Hey, life is boring. What's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums. And today I am bored as hell because I have nothing to do and uh, like there is nothing in my entire life right now that matters anymore. <laughs> uh, which is uh, a great time which makes it a great time for me to indulge into more Radiohead music. As I've said many times already, Radiohead is my favorite band of all times and they are one of the most, if not the most important band in my entire life. And so recently, Radiohead had released a 20th anniversary compilation album for both Kid A and Amnesiac. And the compilation is called Kid Kid Amnesia, Kid A Amnesia. I I don't know, but uh, I'm just gonna call it Kid Amnesia. So Kid Amnesia is the compilation album. It is three discs. So the first disc is the entire Kid A. The second disc is the entire Amnesiac, and the third one are basically outtakes, B sides little sound bits and here and there and that's it and on top of that radiohead had also released a video game yes a video game on epic games yesterday so that's why i waited all the way until today to review this album because i actually want to play the video game and have it be a part of this video as well. And releasing a video game as a companion piece to a musical project isn't the isn't a very crazy thing for Radiohead because if you have been following Tom York, the frontman of Radiohead and his solo career, you would know that Tom York released a video game alongside with Tomorrow's Modern Boxes, which was released in I think 2014 or 2015 and I remembered that I also downloaded that game on my phone for a little bit and it's all right it's not really a video game it's just a bunch of terrain generation I guess it, it is a pretty nice atmospheric companion piece to tomorrow's modern boxes but it wasn't really all that great neither was tomorrow's modern boxes that good of an album or anything but this is different Kid A is my favorite album of all times. So I have already made uh, two very long album reviews for Kid A and Amnesiac. Go check them out, please. But uh, I'm just gonna go through Kid A and Amnesiac very quickly in this video to express how much I love these two albums. First of all, Kid A is my favorite album of all times. There is no denying in that. Even though the songs on Kid A may not be the most top-notch quality songs, Kid A is still number one in my heart because it is just, it, it, it came into my life at such, at such a critical moment and it's forever burnt into my memory. And every single track on Kid A is a little universe in and of itself and they're all really distinct versatile and they're all amazing in my opinion the album opener everything in its right place is this really eerie ominous opener and the first time i listened to the track everything in its right place and i looked at the album cover that is kid a i felt something that i've never felt before a kind of feeling so strong and visceral it sent chills up my spine and that is the moment the album hooked me right off the bat. I feel like I'm gliding over these icy mountains in a simulation world. This is an otherworldly feeling that I've never felt ever again since I've listened to everything in its right place. The track Kid A gets a lot of hate, but in my opinion, it is really underrated. It is danceable, it has the naivety and the innocence. I like how uh, the song sort of devolves into these beats at the end. The national anthem is a psychotic, anxiety-inducing, jazzy explosion. It totally slaps, and that is followed by How to Disappear Completely probably my favorite song of all times. The last time I listened to this song, and I don't listen to this song often because this song is holy. This is a sacred song. So I can't just listen to music like this whenever I want. Like I only save very special occasions 
for me to listen to How To Disappear completely because it's just that special of a song to me. Last time I listened to How To Disappear completely, it was over an entire year ago and I cried my ass off because it's just that beautiful and that powerful of a song about existing, being there, or not being there. And then we are followed with Tree Fingers, which is a track that I didn't really like at first, but I really love after uh, a very interesting uh, traveling experience where I went into this memorial park place and there weren't any street lights there and it and the sun set and it was all dark and I looked at the sky and all I see were stars and I wasn't at Hong Kong at that point that memorial park was in Texas and so in Hong Kong you wouldn't be able to see any stars but in Texas you would and at that moment tree fingers was playing in my head so I kind of fell in love with the track optimistic is a total masterpiece the jangling guitars the jazzy outro I love it and limbo is an enveloping hurricane of noise followed by idiotech followed by the very danceable idiotech which is another total anxiety inducing mental breakdown morning bell is very dark and motion picture soundtrack is transcendent it literally ascends you to heaven then we have the album amnesiac which is an album that i really like as well a lot of people especially non-radiohead fans seem to dislike this album but i actually like this album a lot amnesiac is probably the most claustrophobic and one of the darkest if not the darkest radiohead album in my opinion it is dark in a sense that it is chaotic it is unpredictable and it is it it swallows itself into such a musical malfunctioning thing it is a monster in and of itself packed like sardines is a really repetitive head crushing robotic thing that sounds like a video game soundtrack uh, i love knives out it is just pure unfiltered soupy milky thick dense sadness i might be wrong is a deserty crunchy uh, guitar song that is a total jam it never gets old i listened to it yesterday and i just danced the hell out of this song i just love it and um dollars and cents is so fucking underrated this song is like being is like waking up and realizing that you're in the middle of nowhere like you're in a different dimension and you're constantly being stuck in a dust storm where you can't see anything in front of you or behind you and you are stressed entirely completely and the whole song is just such such distress and 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 fear and all at once in musical form and it's amazing it's cinematic as hell and the last two tracks of amnesiac are very dark and i love them of course like spinning plates is uh one of the loneliest songs i've ever uh, listened to uh, melodically and okay i'll say this amnesiac is best enjoyed after an ugly cry make sure you listen to amnesiac all by yourself it would be better if you're sleep deprived 3 a.m 4 a.m in the morning all by yourself listen to amnesiac it's going to be a very memorable musical experience. At least it is for me. And uh, Like Spinning Plates is just soul crushing. And then at the very height of that emotional pain, we suddenly get, get teleported into this relaxing, jazzy world that is life in a glass house, which is very confusing and I love it. It's almost like I let go of all my emotions all at once and I'm in this strange limbo that is jazz and I love it it's it's fantastic so uh, anyways we have the third disc and one complaint I have with the third disc is that I wish that there are more b-sides on this third disc like there are tons of amnesiac b-sides that I consider masterpieces the amazing sound of orgy cut tooth is arguably the happiest Radiohead song ever and it sounds amazing and my personal favorite Radiohead b-side kinetic super underrated I love this song 
so atmospheric. It's like I'm in a steampunk world where everybody's dead and I'm the only one and I'm the only survivor and it just feels so transcendent and, and, and strange and surreal and I just love kinetic oh my god but uh, unfortunately there aren't any amnesiac b-sides on this third disc uh, it has like spitting plates ys version which is basically like spitting plates but a more organic piano version and it's beautiful i love it i i I think the uh, very soft pianos and the forlorn vocals by Tom York match perfectly. Untitled V1 is uh, basically poke slash pull revolving door minus the migraine inducing pounding chonking noises. Fog again again is basically a third rendition of Fog which is an amnesiac b-side which I think isn't really all that great until the uh, Calm Lag EP where we have Fog again, which is Fog but an organic piano ballad and it is honestly beautiful. It is humbling. But Fog again again kind of returns to the more electronic roots with the warm tinkling keyboards and the soft drums which isn't really all that great in my opinion. If you say the word, I've talked about this song already, I love it, I think it is. Uh, of course, it's nowhere near as good as other Radiohead songs, but it's still a very good song in and of itself. It's, atm it's atmospheric, it's sad, yet peaceful and calming. It's like uh, accepting the pain that comes along with life. And Follow Me Around is a Ben's era deserty guitar ballad with angsty vocals and I, I love the lyrics. I love the lyrics. They're very creepy. I love creepy lyrics and uh, that's very cool. And then we have the most surprising turn of events and that is Polk slash Pole True Love Waits version where Radiohead mashes the most migraine inducing and headache uh, creating song that they've ever made, Polk slash Pole Revolving Doors and one of their most beautiful and clear clean songs they've ever made true love waits and put them together and it sounds strange and also really good it's like it's like i'm being split into two it's so conflicting because it's very stressful but then at the same time it's also very peaceful and they're all just going at it at each other and it's funny because in the original poke slash pull revolving door we hear these really weird fragments of glitching synths and it's weird but now with the context of True Love Waits they sound like they actually fit which is really cool. Untitled V2 has these echoing enveloping noise which is really cool and the Morning Bell in the dark is basically basically the third version of Morning Bell. It's kind of like the amnesiac version which is in my opinion the inferior one and uh, I'm not really a huge fan. And then we have Pyramid Strings, which is basically the strings to Pyramid Song, which I love. And at the very end of the album, we even have How to Disappear into Strings, which is the string section to my favorite song of all time, which of course I really love. And in between, we have Alt Fast Track, which is an alternative version of Fast Track, which is one of the B-sides to Amnesiac. And I love Fast Track. I love how uh, headache inducing it is it's repetitive it's weird it feels like uh, my brain is melting and on this track it's basically that but without the chung 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 glitches so a little bit less headache inducing i guess and of course we have untitled v3 which is basically the little string bit at the end of motion picture soundtrack and uh, yeah, I, I like it. It's very brief and it feels like a blip. It feels like a glitch in the universe. Like the, 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 the texture of the universe crack open and some really colorful lights shine through for a very brief moment. And this is what this little thing makes me feel, which is a really cool feeling. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna give this album a score because um, it is a compilation. Kid A is a 10 out of 10, Amnesiac is an 8 out of 10, and all this stuff is, I guess, an 8 out of 10 as well. And if you put them all together, you get a 9 out of 10, but honestly, it doesn't even deserve a score. It's just a compilation. So uh, let's move on to the video game. Alright, so let's play the video game. Uh, 
I'm sorry my laptop is making a very noisy noise right now. Not my fault. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, in the trailer for the video game, in the promo for the video game, it says uh, there's going to be a... Uh, uh, okay, brah. There's going to be uh, violence and sexual references here. Uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> something interesting is going to happen, <laughs> I guess, perhaps. But uh, anyways, Kid A Amnesia, the video game. Uh, I downloaded Epic Games yesterday, and uh, yeah, here I am. So, continue, option, restart experience. Very cool loading screen, by the way. Okay, let's see if there are any... Um, yeah, well, let's just get on with the, with the, uh, with the video game. Okay, it should sound, it should sound good now. So, I'm in the woods. Oh, also, I can't jump. I can go, you know, I can do WASD, but I can't jump. I press space, I can't jump. Unless, unless I'm doing something wrong. I can't jump, right? Can I jump? I have no idea. Okay. So, uh, actually, um, in the loading screen, right? Oh my god, I can't jump. Okay, so there's this path, and there's this path. Oh no, it's just the woods, okay. So, um, very cool. I'd imagine this would be very cool if this, like, VR, in VR radio head. Okay, so we got some red light here. I don't know what this is. Um, Can I take screenshots? Is that possible? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. It's fine. I'm, I'm recording the whole video anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, so YouTube is not gonna like this because it's playing copyrighted music. So... I am probably not going to speak. If, if it plays music, I'm not going to speak. Or maybe I'm going to maybe turn down the music. Alright, uh, I'm not gonna say anything, and I'm gonna just silent this part out, I guess. Okay. Actually, I'm just gonna make it quieter, and maybe speak over the song. There are doors and doors, and there are trap doors, there are doors that open themselves, there are... Okay, that is, a uh, Hulk slash pull revolving doors. Um, Today Amnesia, Exhibition, this is not a game, take your time, you are at the beginning, so there must be an end, some places will make sense, some will never make sense, see you later, there's a QR code here, oh my god, very exciting, very exciting, I actually have no idea what's going on. Some places will make sense, some, some will not. So, interesting. Oh, it stopped? Oh. Oh my god. My laptop is not going to handle this well. <laughs> What are these images, anyways? Oh, I see a Radiohead logo. I see the Amnesiac cover. Oh my god, that's a dude. 
There's a dude here. Yo, are you good? You good? Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna pass you. Oh wow, there are a lot of people here. Cool. So a lot of these are actually like... Oh, there are people. There are people in... I don't even know what's going on. So a lot of this is like taken from blips. Like... Like, when Kid A was released, there weren't any music videos. There were just blips. Oh, they're playing Kid A right now, the title track. way better than the Tomorrow's Modern Boxes game. This is actually, you know. Yay. Oh my god, YouTube is not gonna like this. Uh, YouTube. Uh, yee-ho. Uh, yee-ho. Audio Jungle. Uh, yee-ho. Okay. Can I do something? Oh, I can zoom in. I can't do anything to this dude, though. Video Vortex, Ribbon Hall, Ghost Chamber, Kid A, Down Bro. Down Bro? Down Brow. Oh, Down Brow. Down Brow. Kid A. Okay, so it's explaining the songs. So we gotta choose. I'm gonna go this way first, I guess. In limbo, okay. You know, let, let's go in trackless order. Oh wait, I can go into this thing. How am I gonna even get get back out? Oh my goodness! Obviously, this is going to be a pretty big map, so... Okay, this is television's national anthem. Yeah, let's go in trackless order. Ooh, look at this. Take the money and then run. Never pick it up. You and your cronies. Ah, uh, I see. That's from, um, you and whose army? Volcano erupts. Oh, the 
bear fights in the heaven. Modified bears flee the tumultuous explosion. Police news of May 3rd, 1884. What? Earthquake in England and great destruction. So I guess maybe it's one of the inspirations for the album. Uh, this this has got to be real, right? Colchester. Witness has eyes and mouth soon shut at night. Show my dogs to scare the crows. This is actually this is actually kind of scary. Please keep moving. I don't know what the, what are they saying? I feel like I should be knowing. We shook hands with the excluded, gave them all promise and smiles. So this is political, I guess. If this is real. This is why I said like Amnesiac is probably the darkest and, and, and Kid A too, you know, Kid A is really dark, but in a, in a different way, I guess. Oh, what? Oh, yes, let's go! And I'm out. Okay, this is awesome. How do I get back? Okay, I have to make all my way back. Oh, it's different. What? The colors are different. Ghost chamber. Paper chamber. Packed like sardines. Pixel warehouse. Years of waiting, nothing came. Are these all like material for Kitty and, and Amnesia? That's a lot. That's that's a lot of stuff. I know a lot of them are repeats, but, but still. Final radio at some it's like it's like a terrorist organization. Like it's like it's it's originally uh, uh, like a royal symbol or something, and then Radiohead just terrorized it. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh what's going on? Oh my god. Help. Did I just fall out of the map? Are you serious? Wait, is that I'm not supposed to do that, right? Or am I supposed to do that? I can't. I, I'm still falling. I can't. I can't move. Um. Uh, I don't know if this is the end of the exhibition or not. So maybe, maybe this is the end. Maybe, maybe the end is just me falling into the void and the abyss forever, eternally. You know that that would actually be a pretty good ending for for an exhibition like this. Though I'm I'm, I'm not sure if this is actually the uh, the intended ending. It's falling forever. Okay, I'm gonna try to go back. So I'm gonna cut this part out. Okay, I'm gonna reset the experience and uh, let's go. All right, so. Um, Apparently there's more. A, apparently there's more. B, I just checked the OBS recording. Apparently uh, my OBS didn't even catch like 80% of what happened because my laptop is just so bad. But uh, I returned to the game and I somehow ended up in the giant room again and I realized that there's a room right here. What is this? 
Oh no! Oh my god! I'm not falling. Thank God. I don't know if my OBS is working correctly right now, but I hope it is. Because if it isn't, I would be very pissed. My OBS better be working. Okay, we're back here again. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna check if my OBS is working or not. All right, it is, yes. Continuing. So I was here, and also apparently I could toggle sprint, so I'm going to sprint. Limbo, okay. Have I been here? What? It's changing. This is the cover to uh, the live album. What? I don't get it. I've never been here. I step on these things. If you have epilepsy, don't watch this. <laughs> Wait, there are all these pads down here. What? What? <laughs> I'm getting the hell out of here. But I want to step on all of these pads first. What? I don't want to fall into the abyss again. Okay, I've been here, I've been here. I remember this bit. Back at the giant chamber again. Hold on, where did I fall off though? Okay. I gotta make my way back. I, what? This is insane! I. It changed! I don't get it. It wasn't like this. The I, where did I fall off? I fell off somewhere. Oh. 
gonna die in my bunker. Let's get your attack. Waste. Alright. Alright, I fell off right here. There's a uh, so like I fell off near here. What? I'm back at the giant room again? I'm back at the giant room again. Why, but I can't return to the first room that I fell off in. I w what do you mean ghost chamber? Actually lost. I'm actually lost. I can't find the spot where I fell off. I'm back at the giant place. Oh my god. Where where is the spot that I went to earlier? Like the ju the the centaur? The friggin' oh. Pyramid Atrium. Oh my god. Oh, I know this place. I fell off right here. The second time. I actually fell off again the second time. Oh, this is the Pyramid Atrium. I see. Actually, the end game of Yabu is actually inside this thing. And also, this is a Pyramid, so it makes sense. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Can I go back? I can't. This is very real. This is the realest part of this entire video game. Don't bother me. That is in limbo. Mm. 
never pick this up. I'm picking this up. Danger. Where do I go from here? Oh, there? Oh god, this is gonna emotionally wreck me. No. I don't want to fall off. Oh my god, I'm a sender. No, not again. Oh my god, oh it's moving on its own. I can move too. right now and if I stay any longer it's going to emotionally wreck me it's turned white help OBS will not handle this at all. Okay. What is that? What is that? Is that a skull? Oh my god, I'm sinking. I can jump now, or I can swim. Because I jump into the river. I get it now. Let me go. Oh my god, what's happening now? Oh 
song now, I have to keep it quiet, otherwise I'm going to get the biggest copyright strike ever. I, uh, I'm glad that I'm doing something right. Clearly this is intended to happen. But I'm obviously trapped right now. And, uh, okay. Oh boy. Trapped in this chamber of... I don't even know... What is this thing? What is a to topographic term? It's a weird... Weird object shape. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's the logical next step for this. It's still changing. Is it still changing? Oh, it's dissolving. sounds at the very end of pyramid song it's like yeah oh crap okay. i haven't done knives out so i know that because the door earlier said how to disappear completely pyramid song and knives out so it's gonna be knives out now yep it's playing knives out now all right that's great no wait, that's you and his army that's not knives out what? Where am I supposed to go? Oh my goodness. What? Wait, they're multiplying. Oh no. They are multiplying now. Not really multiplying, more like... Because I'm gonna get the biggest copyright strike ever. <laughs> I need to turn on here. down wait I don't get it what's going on 
Help! Oh my goodness, what now? Ooh, that's the... Pyramid Song cover? Oh, like spinning plates, yes! Spinning plates, blue spikes. Glad I have something to follow now so that I won't get lost and fall into the void. This thing better ends in like motion picture soundtrack. It's gonna be the most epic ending ever. Oh, I don't even have to move actually. Just let go. Oh no, never mind. I need to move. <laughs> what is this? I thought it's a heart. I, well, I thought it's shaped like a heart. And, and the two things that on top is like. Aorta. Oh my god, what the heck? Oh, it, it's gone. Rip. Oh boy! <clears throat> Shit. I'm being threatened. So there's red and there's green. I think I've gone through green. I think that's the same green I went to, right? Oh boy, no! Is, he, is this gonna stop me? Is this giant gonna stop me? If I, if I, if I try to go to like green? I'm gonna go to red first. I don't know, I don't know what to call it, centaur? Wait, this is the same thing. Okay, I'm not gonna go there again. And I'm back to the light spinning plates. All right, that's great. Help! Help! Oh, I can forcefully go back? Oh my goodness. What's going on? But I can't go back. that like getting lost and being confused is a is an integral part of this game as well which is also something that I like I know that okay I'm not overthinking it okay or, or maybe I am maybe I'm not supposed to be lost 
but I feel like that's part of the game. Like it's it, it's impossible. Like some of the land, like some of the geography here just doesn't even make any sense. I'm pretty sure that's the same green that I went to, right? I feel like... Wait, there's more! There's blue! I don't get it! Oh wait, have I been to blue? Is it gonna take me back to light spinning plates again? Oh my god. Don't do that. Oh my god! I okay. Oh, this is why I end up here because I left blue. Alright, I, I get it now. Thank you very much. Stan. Stanley Don. Sloth? Straw Donkey? Straw Donkey? Jumped into the river and what did I see? I don't get it. How is this supposed to end? Is this gonna take me back to the stairs? Or is this something else? Oh, it is going to take me back to the stairs. Okay. There should be an end game here somehow. Like, I feel like it has something to do with this elevator, but I don't know how to, like, I don't know what to do with it. Oh! It, it's working now. Great. Third, four. Radio head floor. Wow, alright. What's this now? What? There's so much more. Inside the pyramid? Oh. Landscape gallery. What? I'm. This is a loop. Okay. So okay. This painting, right? Two cubes. I'm gonna go up. No wait, it's different. The painting changed. Are you serious? You have three children, right? Somebody here is ascending. What the heck is that? Oh boy. I was like, that guy's having an aneurysm. Oh my god, this map is way... Like, this game is way longer than I'd expected. Well, to be honest, it is a game. And it's not supposed to be like done in half an hour, but like, sheesh. <sighs> uh, 
Can't interact with these things. Can I like push you? No. There's a mouse cursor in there. Oh my god, this is not a painting. This is real. I can walk into it. Can I walk into it? I can't. But it's real. It looks real. It has depth. It's playing copyrighted music again. I can't. I can't risk it. Oh wow, this is crazy. The depth is just really strong with this one. I feel, like, I feel like this is the end. Oh, there we go, Ascension. Motion picture soundtrack, this is the end. I'm 100% I'm sure. Motion picture soundtrack is, is gonna be the final end. A little bit sad there isn't a life in a glass house section. That, that would be really cool. Like a life in a glass house section. And I end up in some really claust like really small cluster, claustrophobic room. That's kind of dreamy. Donwood and tea chop. Sorry, I can't. That's me. It's true. All Radiohead fans look like that. I feel like it's the same. If I go left and I go right, it's just gonna be the same. Okay, so right here looks like this. If I go to the right. Oh, it's dead. Alright. Well, good to know. OBS better be working, otherwise I'm pissed. Hold on, I actually want to check. 
All right, it is working. My OBS is working. Thank God. Alright, I believe I have finished the whole thing. Right, um, thanks for watching. Guys? Yes.